because we understand the minority in parliament say bank of ghana acted illegally when it purported to write off some debt owed it by the government now the central bank has written off more than 30 billion cities debt of the government speaking to journalists in parliament acting ranking member on the finance committee isaac adongo explained that such a write-off can only be completed with a resolution of parliament which he argues has not been complied with uh, Kweku, uh, uh, what does the minority intend to do about this alleged breach so brace in fact yesterday when the minority leader himself concluded his side commenting on the media budget review dr kisilatopos raised concerns about what they believe is the illegal conduct of the bank of ghana they believe that it is not up to the Bank of Ghana by itself to decide to write off debt that is owed by the government of Ghana. In fact, they have been raising concerns that the BOG was illegally printing money to fund government expenditure. And this is what has come back to bite the Bank of Ghana, making such significant losses. And so they say that they are going to haul the Bank of Ghana governor before the Finance Committee mm -hmm. and other such committees within Parliament. The big challenge, again, goes back to that works and housing story that we just discussed. So this is what Parliament is going on break today. And so there's very little Parliament can do unless the MPs move the House to come back for an emergency sitting or that the Committee on Finance will be sitting among others. So these are all concerns that is affecting the minority and how they are able to move forward. But the intention has been signaled clearly both from the minority leader himself and the acting ranking member of the finance committee that they are going to use processes within and outside parliament to ensure that the bank of ghana does not do this because they believe it's illegal and it's contrary to the public financial act and the bank of ghana enabling legislation if i understand it clearly it means now the house is expected to rise in a dime today it clearly says that they won't be able to finish key business they have outlined right yeah, definitely. In fact, one of the big issues Parliament was hoping it could deal with before it goes on break is that anti gay bill sponsored by Sam George and other MPP and NC MPs in Parliament. That bill is currently at the consideration stage. The expectation was that the House would do a chunk of the consideration where they would take the bill clause by clause on the floor, do amendments to it before they can pass it. They have not been able to do so and they are expected to go on break today to return in October. So that signaled intention that at least the house could complete the consideration stage and possibly pass the bill would not be done and so that is one of the key businesses that the house would have to deal with other issues having to do with loans and other things have all come on the floor but the minority have been able to throw spokes in the wheels of government asking government to put those arrangements back to the finance committee for discussion but as we speak they have very major business that is very likely the house will not be able to complete them before it goes on break yeah, grateful to you. Quite for joining us here now. Let's go.